Hi, Dennis Bulldogs. It's Mrs. Johnson, your school counselor. I am back with another tip on how to cope with anxiety while you are at home and on this break. So I want to talk today about how you can um, deal with anxiety by using writing. And so there are two ways that you can use writing as a way to cope. And the first one is you will take a slip of paper here. And it can be a scrap piece of paper, a notebook piece of paper, doesn't matter. And we are going to write down something that we're worried about. So there may be several things that you're worried about. You can write them all down. I'm just going to write something. So it could be something about the world, something about yourself or the future or, you know, somebody in your family. There's lots of things. We're all unique individuals and have different things that we um, are concerned about. So you'll just write it on the piece of paper. And then we will throw it out. So we are going to destroy that piece of paper as a way to show that we're going to let that worry go. We're going to destroy that negative thinking or that thought. Typically worrying just doesn't get us anywhere and we just sit in our worry all day long. Sometimes worrying keeps us up at night. So it's important that we learn to try to destroy those worries as they come. And so you can do this every day or as many times as you need to. And that's our first tip. So the second tip is journaling. Now, journaling doesn't have to be pages and pages long. It could be if you enjoy writing, but it also can just be 5 to 15 minutes of writing just what's going on in your day or things that you're concerned about. This is a, something that needs to become a habit that will help you in the long run by getting out your thoughts and feelings. It's proven that whenever you journal, you feel less anxious as the days go on about that topic. Another thing is not a lot of people can just come up with something to write about or just start writing um, off the top of their heads. So if not, I have a few prompts in front of me. I'm just going to read you a couple and then down below in the information section, I will have a link to more prompts if you're interested. So for example, number one says, do a worry purge in the pages of your journal. Without stopping, write down everything that is churning around in your mind. Once it is out of your head, Give yourself permission to leave it in your journal and come back to it later with a clearer head. So similar to how we destroyed the first one, we're kind of leaving all those worries on the paper. Number two says, finish the sentence, right now I am. Then finish the sentence, I want to be. So right now I am worried. My chest is tight. My heart's beating fast. I want to be calm, laughing, smiling. Um, and then here's just one last one. It says, write a list of the day's accomplishments and victories, no matter how small, celebrate each one individually. So every day there's something to be grateful for and something to celebrate. And so it's good to bring those positive things to the forefront. I hope that you try one of these activities over the break. Um, just, get, you know, you never know. Just give it a try and see if it works for you. Not every single skill will work for you, but it's worth giving it a try to find those things that really are beneficial in the long run. So I'm sending you all of my love. I miss you. Can't wait to see you guys again. And I hope that you guys have a great day. See ya.